In this video, I will explain what center of mass is and show how it affects driving in three different test scenarios using Unreal Engine. Hi, I'm Alex and I'm trying to make a driving game. Recently, I had to spend a lot of time finding the right center of mass or center of gravity for my vehicle. But Alex, what is center of mass and center of gravity? Are they the same thing? Well, I'm glad you asked. Uh, what are you doing? Whoa, hey, hey, hey. It, it, it's, it's actually pretty simple, okay? It will be fun, I promise. It will be fun. Just give me one minute, okay? The, the, the center of mass, it, it's kind of um, uh, the center of, 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 of mass. I'll show you. Let's say we have a ball. We have mass or weight everywhere equally. So the center of mass is here in the middle. If we spin it, it rotates around the center of mass. But if we have a bowling pin, there's more mass at the bottom. So the center of mass is lower. And if you spin it, it will spin like this. Now the center of mass and the center of gravity are in the exact same spot if the gravity affects all the mass equally. But if we want to be very accurate, the mass at the bottom of objects is affected more by the gravity because it's closer to the Earth. So the center of gravity is a teeny tiny bit lower than the center of mass. But in practice, there is no difference. And I'm gonna use center of mass because that's the one Unreal Engine uses. In vehicles, the center of mass is important because it has a direct effect on the tipping point. Let's assume the center of mass is somewhere on this green line. And let's rotate the vehicle so that it's about to tip over. If the center of mass is on this side of the yellow line, like here, the vehicle doesn't tip over. But if the center is here, the driver is in trouble. <clears throat> One way to find the center of mass is to rotate the vehicle so that it stays in equilibrium. And that's exactly what I wanted to do. So I made this rotating platform. The idea is that when the car tips over, we'll look at the lines and figure out the center of mass together. But the car slides. I tried to increase the friction, but it didn't help at all. Well, then I made this barrier. I know it looks way too big, but just watch what happens. Okay, then I tried to rotate the car on the ground and find the equilibrium. And it looks something like this. Where exactly am I supposed to draw the vertical line? There was only one way left. Spin the shit out of it. I made two platforms. The platform below moves up with a very high speed, hits the car, and hopefully it starts to spin. Don't blink. This will happen very fast. Here we go. Beautiful. As you can see, the car seems to spin around the red winch. Let's add some motion blur so it becomes even more clear. I could watch this all day. Now we know where the center of mass should be, but let's see if Unreal Engine agrees. I added some debug info, and yep, the center of mass is right where it should be. Now that we know everything is working, let's see how the center of mass affects driving. I made three versions of the same car. One with low center of mass, one with high center of mass, and one with balanced center of mass. Let's start with a simple turn. Here we have the car with low center of mass. Oh, by the way, I'm using keyboard, so the driving is a bit janky, but it really brings up the differences between the settings. As you can see, the car is pretty much glued to the ground. Now let's switch to the version with the balanced center of mass. The car tilts quite a bit, and if you drive too recklessly, it will roll over. Next is the version with high center of mass. I strapped this treasure chest on top of it to make this very scientific test more believable. I must say, driving this thing is different. It tips over very easily. But if you go slow, it's a bit more manageable. So if you ever find yourself driving a car with a treasure chest, go slow and do not use a keyboard. Here is a slow motion comparison of all three versions.
Next we have this obstacle course with cones. Again, the car with low center of mass is quite stable. The version with a balanced center of mass is also quite stable. Driving the car with high center of mass was difficult at first, but then it just clicked. It's like a pendulum, it almost turns itself. To be honest, I did not expect such similar results between the versions. Now, PS de Resistance, the legendary Moose test. PS de Resistance, PS de Resistance, Jesus fuck. If you don't know, Moose is basically a cow that doesn't say moo. As John Oliver would say, that's a Moose fact. Moose fact. In this test, we simulate a scenario where a moose unexpectedly crosses the road and the driver has to dodge it. This is a real issue in countries that have a lot of moose. That's right, the plural of moose is moose. That's another moose fact. By the way, when I will be dodging the moose, I will not be letting off the gas. It's more fun that way. Okay, here we go. Ready? Ready? Fuck you, moose! This time for real. First we have the car with low center of mass. And yeah, the test doesn't really pose a challenge. Uh, let me just quickly do one thing. Now the balanced center of mass. As you can see, I barely passed the test. <clears throat> just one second. Die, you piece of shit. Oh, and now the high center of mass. Believe me when I say I tried many times, it's not possible. I want to mention that although the cars with low and balanced centers of mass seem quite similar, they feel very different. As a side note, I also tested moving the center of mass in the front and in the back of the car. But this video is already way too long, so maybe some other time. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate if you hit that like button. And if you want to see more stuff like this, consider subscribing and hitting that bell icon. And if you are in the future, then you just might see a sequel to this video right here. Uh, if not, then YouTube recommends that you watch this video next. I have no idea which one it is, but I promise you it's something great. Uh, anyway, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'll see you, whoa, I'll see you hopefully sometime in the future. Okay, bye.